With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss one question on circles. So here in this question, we are given a figure and in that figure, we need to determine the measure of the angle QSR where we are given that O is the center of the given circle. So let us visualize this question by using this given diagram. So here we are given this diagram and in this diagram the O is the center of this circle. And this is the point P, external point P from where we have drawn the two tangents like this. And here this OQ and OR are the radius of the circle. So now we know that the angle between the radius of the circle and the tangent drawn from an external point is always 90 degrees. So by using this property we can say that this angle should be 90 degrees. Similarly here OR is the radius and this PR is the tangent. So we can similarly say that this angle would also be 90 degrees. Now if we consider this quadrilateral QPRO then in quadrilateral in quadrilateral QPRO we know that the sum of all the angles of the quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So by applying that if we use this property then we know the 60 plus 90 plus 90 plus this angle that is angle QOR this sum would be equals to 360 degrees so from this we can find the value of the angle QOR so the angle QOR measure would be the 360 minus here we have 60 minus 90 into 90 that is 180 so if we solve this then we get the measure of the angle QOR as 120 degrees. So here we have got the measure of the angle QOR as 120 degrees. So we have got this angle as 120 degrees. Now for solving this question we are going to do some construction. So from this point Q we are going to drop a line like this. So if this is the point Q so from this we have a line something like this. And similarly we are going to draw a line from this point R. So from this point R we also have a line like this. So now let us name this point as a point M. So we have this point as a point M. Now for doing this question we are going to use one property of the circles. We know that if we consider an arc of a circle then if that arc subtends some angle at the center of the circle then that arc would subtend the half of the angle at the circumference of the circle. Whose half? thus angle which it was subtending at the center of the circle. So here if we consider this arc QSR. So the QSR arc is subtending an angle of 120 degrees at the center. So the QSR arc would subtend the half of the 120 degrees angle at this circumference that is at this point M. So we can say that by using this property the angle QMR. The angle QMR would be the half of the angle of QOR the half of the angle of the QOR and we know that the QOR is given to us as 120 degrees so if we solve this then we get the 60 degrees as the angle QMR so here we have got the value of the angle QMR as 60 degrees by using the property of the circle so this angle is 60 degrees now for doing this question we are going to focus on this quadrilateral QSRM so in quadrilateral, in quadrilateral QSRM, in this quadrilateral we can see that the point Q, point S, point R and point M, all of these four points are lying on the circumference of the circle. So we can conclude that this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So here we have this quadrilateral as a cyclic quadrilateral. Now since this is a cyclic quadrilateral, so now we are going to use one property of the cyclic quadrilateral. We know that in a cyclic quadrilateral the sum of opposite angles is always 180 degrees. So here we can say that the angle QSR plus the angle QMR would be equals to 180 degrees by using the property of the cyclic quadrilateral. So since this is a cyclic quadrilateral we can say that the sum of opposite angles is 180 degrees. So here we have the angle QSR plus the angle QMR. This sum should be 180. And from this we can find the value of the angle QSR. So the angle QSR would be equal to the 180 minus the angle QMR like this. And we know that the angle QMR is 
here we have found the angle QMRS 60 degrees. So from this we can get the value of the angle QSRS the 180 minus 60. That would be equals to 120 degrees. So here we have got the angle QSRS 120 degrees. So this angle is 120. Now in the question they have asked us to find the measure of the angle QSR. So here we have got the measure of the angle QSR as 120 degrees. This is our solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.